Um, ladies and gentlemen, Richard, who's next to the stage? Original gangster, the man who started it all, a man who was doing conventions before you and I even knew there was such a thing. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the mellowest man in show business, Jason Mann. Yeah. What did your thing entail this time? That's it. Here's what I said. He's a man, he's a man, he's a man, good man. Got a shaved head, yo. He's a man, he's a man, he's a man, he's a man, good man. Wearing nice jeans, yo. He's a man, 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 good man. Two cuffs, two cuffs. He's a man, he's a man, he's a man, he's a man, good man. We're both wearing jeans. Nice. Both wearing jeans. What was the last one? V-neck tees. Okay. Yeah, v -neck. I lost that. The others were spot on. Spot on. Spot on. Uh, that one wasn't. You have gone closely shorn. And I'm going to go that it's with the, for the summer season? Is that? Yeah, it's just a little summer trim. A little summer cut. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, You're such a chameleon. I have, really are. Right. I have a question. Yo. Would, would y'all like the same song with me? Woo! No, sir. Thank you. Okay. I guess so. If, if Richard's gonna sing, I'll sing. Sure. And if Mike's gonna, gonna sing something, I'm gonna sing. If Mike's gonna sing, and if Billy's gonna sing, and if Steven's gonna sing, and if you're gonna sing, and if Rob's gonna sing, and if you guys are gonna sing along, that happens to me. For me to sing. I'm not great. I'm gonna tune our instruments. This is not this. You know, Jason. Hold on, keep going. We're gonna hold this together as a keep going. There's a thing in here that's called tuning, and we don't believe in it. Do we hear a key? No, it's just it's always better right. on the fly. Wing it off the cuffs. Keep me. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Head down south to the land of pine. From the mountain here in the North Carolina. Stand up the road, where they got I see headlights. Well, I made it down the coast in 17 hours. Picking me up with Kate's dog or flowers. Hoping for a while I can see my baby tonight. Knock me Johnson City, 
Tennessee, and I gotta get a new outfit for the sun. Hear my baby call my name, and then I know that she's the only one. And if I die right, at least I will die free. Yeah, I will die free. I need my money, I need my money, I need my money, I need my money, I need my some sort of faulty instrument thing happen before we sing that song because it sets expectations really low. And then when we when we sing well, people are like, oh my gosh, that's way better than I thought it was going to be. You know, the band that sang that is playing at Red Rocks tonight. Are they really? Uh-oh. I was going to be at karaoke, but uh, I'm not going to hey. be there anymore. Hey! Hey! I was never going to be there. Um... <laughs> Uh, what should we sing now? We'll, we'll sing a little dog. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, these guys and I have a, a little fun side project band called uh, The Station Breaks. <laughs> and uh, this is one of those songs. <laughs> <laughs> Just two more people didn't make me one goodbye my head. 
convention and then we would get to the next convention and we'd be like did you because I, I thought you were gonna I, I didn't Billy did, did Billy no sorry so we have now. our album that we the three of us made together the station breaks it's here at Jason's table and now I give you Jason Man usually at the end of dawn Rob and I come in for a hug and that time for some odd reason I decided I just I wanted to shake his hand <laughs> Uh, and, and this is why Rob is awesome on stage, because there was a split second of like, what, why, why are you doing this? And then it went very seamlessly from that into the business uh, nod and wink. He gave me the... Um, so, uh, how many of you guys have never been to a convention before? Whoa! That's, a, that's quite a few people. So. You guys have already had enough of an opportunity to lean over to the person next to you or in front of you and say, who's, who's that guy? <laughs> Why is he on stage? Uh, my name is Jason Mance, and I, I was lucky enough to have a little bit of music on Supernatural, uh, and even luckier enough to, uh, to get invited to, to play at these conventions uh, once in a while, and uh, it's always the best crowd I get to play for, so I always say yes. Um, so thanks for... Chilling. Thanks for coming all the way downstairs. Thanks for just sitting still after Rachel was done. Uh, it's always really fun to play for you guys. So it's a little bit of a close, close enough thought oh, time. A um, little bit of a concert, a little bit of a Q and A. I have dubbed it my concert. <laughs> Thank you for that. Laugh. I appreciate that. Uh, and uh, is there one microphone or two? There is two? Okay. Uh, so I'll take questions and then, and then play some songs. Uh, I have a, my first question. Um, what were you guys burning in here? <laughs> what was that? That's delicious. Um, that was my question. I didn't understand any of the answers, but... Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Really good. Yeah. Thank you so much. I, I agree. She she really was amazing. She uh, that girl can sing. It was really fun hanging out with her in the studio. And also thank you for doing all your stages. That's kind of highlight my day when I see the player. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you don't know, Stage It is like an online music venue. So if I'm in my office playing, I can just do it on a computer and people can watch, uh, which is kind of fun. So I actually have a question. It's already, you're killing it right now. My favorite <laughs> question of a long time. All right, so you've already had a couple of like pseudo cameos on the show, like your music's been on there, and then most recently we had Man's Diner, which was more. It's true. If you were ever to appear on the show like yourself, physically where we see you from the camera, how would you want like your character to be, or what would you want your character to be? Ooh. Uh, it's a good question. A lot of options. Uh, I, I mean, anyone who, who answers that question and doesn't say Winchester, <laughs> can put that out there. Uh, so I would love to be a Winchester, but uh, the, you know, I mean, I think it would also be really fun uh, and, and, and frankly challenging to be police officer number two, <laughs> uh, who may or may not get eaten by something in the first... 30 to 40 seconds of the episode. <laughs> a lot of responsibility weighs on that guy's shoulders because he, he sets the whole thing up for the whole show. 
Somebody's got to do the red shirt proud. The what? The red shirt. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I would be honored <laughs> to be a red shirt. Thank you for the question. Is it over there? Back. Oh. Right here. All right. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Really good. Um, I was wondering, what is your favorite song that you've recorded with the cast? You're just going to step up there and try and get me in trouble, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. I see you. Um, you know, I, I, I would have to say I lean toward the songs that that are a, a group, you know, kind of a gang vocal. Um, songs like Wagon Wheel, or The Weight, or, uh, you know, stuff where you have a good three, four part harmony. Uh, and it's kind of fun to figure out. In a perfect world, we record those together on the same day, but um, these guys are the busiest people on the planet. So to get two of them in the same place at the same time, uh, that isn't supernatural or a convention is impossible. Um, so we do it all separately and then kind of build it, build it together. But when it's done, it sounds like we were all in the same room, which is really fun. Thank you for your question. I can't see anything on that side of the room, so if I was looking uh, in your general direction, it was to you. <laughs> you got close enough. Okay, good. Thank you. Hi. I'm a huge fan of music. I'm wondering, though, is there any songs you'd really love to record in the future? Yes, a ton. I, I keep uh, a list on my phone of songs that I hear wherever. Um, and sometimes when I hear it, I'm just like, oh, I really like that song. I'd love to put it on a record. And then sometimes I hear it, and I'm like, oh, that song would be awesome for so-and-so. Um, so I've got a, a long list of those songs. Some of them have names attached, and some of them don't. Um, yeah, it's, and it's fun. I, I, I just I dip into that list when I go into the studio to, to make uh, you know a cover record. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to tell you what any of them are. Uh, I learned that lesson. Uh, yeah, but you'll hear them all, hopefully, at some point. I can't wait. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> hi. hi. I'm assuming there's someone over there in that dark corner. Hi, I almost didn't recognize you so cleanly shaven. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not totally clean. It's just sh short. But, but no beard. Oh, no beard. Yeah. Um, yeah. So whose idea was it to come up with uh, Station Breaks? You or Rob or Billy? Uh, that, you know, I, that's funny. Someone asked me that question not long ago, and I, being totally sincere, I don't know. I don't know. Because your voices go together so flawlessly, and it's just, it's like made to be. Do you know who, this may, I don't know if he was the first person to say it, but I, someone who was very influential in the formation of the Station Breaks was uh, Rich. Um, when we, I think the first time Rob and I sang together, we were in uh, Italy, and we were at a, uh, an event, and, uh, and I, someone's like, oh, he, he's got a band, he plays, and so we kind of jammed together in the green room or whatever, and I was like, dude, come, let's play, let's sing. So he, we sang um, Hallelujah together, that was the first song we ever sang together. And I, I really enjoyed it, you know, um, and, and Rob had a good time, and then we got off stage, and Richard went on for solid four to five hours. <laughs> about how uh, how much he enjoyed it, and how awesome it was, and how we need to do it again, and we need to sing together, and move in together, and have a place together. And, um, so yeah, I think that that was he was one of the reasons, and I think the other part of it too, it just was kind of a natural progression. We we were in the same place at the same time a lot with our instruments, and we played and sang, and you know stuff just kind of started. Um, coming out and we were like, oh, you know, what about this? What about this song or that song? And, and then we started writing some stuff and yeah. And I'm wondering kind of if happened. you like were a scuba diver in a previous life, because how on earth do you hold that note in the slightest thing? It's amazing. Listen, I love your question, but I think technically you mean free diving. But <laughs> scuba divers cheat. Okay. Um, no, 
I, I, uh... You know we can't, right? Yeah, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, um... I don't know, I, you know, I just, I've always, I, I did grow up swimming, you know, I was in the pool a lot, and I, I always won the races of how far you can swim underwater holding your breath. Um, and I, and I still do it kind of weirdly, like, this is embarrassing, but I, I will hold my breath um, at random times just to make sure I can still get to two minutes or whatever. And uh, so I don't know, I guess that helps. Well, I love your music, enough. thank you so much. Thank you. Excellent question. Speaking of music, I'm gonna sing a song. Uh, I just love this song, I didn't write it, but. Last part you said? Welcome to Bake Con. Bake Con, got it. I don't really have a question. I've got to go and take a photo with Rachel Miner. Well, but I just wanted to tell you I love you and I appreciate your music. I love you too and I appreciate you listening. Thank you. Enjoy your picture. <laughs> and, your, and your baking. Lift your 
head up, baby. Bang your drum so everyone can hear. Come on and ride with me, ride with me. I want you to change from blue to green. Do you see yourself back in the mirror? Baby, I'm so. You don't have to let this world take control. Lay your head down. Baby, I know you don't have to go through life alone. You know I got it. singing and started writing songs and then I started traveling doing it uh, and I never I didn't I didn't play with a band until relatively recently and uh, and I don't know I just got used to um, being my own boss on stage playing what I wanted to play or however much of the song I wanted to play <laughs> and it's a it's a habit that I get but like I I will play a song and I'll get about two thirds of the way through it, and I'm like, "You guys get it, <laughs> right? You verse, chorus, verse, chorus. That's the thing. I could do another verse and another chorus, or I could stop and start talking. <laughs> so sometimes I do that. And 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 Rob is the uh, exact opposite of that. I mean, he it's like it is. You, you wrote a bridge, so you you sing the bridge. <laughs> there is a bridge." Uh, it's part of the song. You're singing the song, so sing it right. And not that I disagree with that, I'm just not not used to that. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? Really good. Uh, I had a question and a request, if that was okay. Sure. Um, so I know you've been doing a lot of producing, and you're obviously enjoying that. And I was just wondering what you find is the most challenging about that, and what else do you find the most rewarding? About producing in general? Um, 